Thanks, Lil. I'm going to talk about uh, intravenous ablation for complex anatomy. Disclosures. <clears throat> All right, so this would not be complex anatomy. Your routine great saphenstein reflux, most of us would agree, would do well with a straightforward thermal ablation and ambulatory phlebectomy. <clears throat> Just by looking at someone clinically, the pattern of the varicosities when they cross the knee are a tip-off that it's not the great saphenous vein. You do have to map it with ultrasound to make sure, but this is a, a synoquinon of uh, anterior accessory saphenous reflux when they cross the knee. The thigh extensions of small saphenous vein usually present with posterior thigh varicosities. Again, this could also be great saphenous, so you have to map it out with duplex as we heard this morning. As far as the nomenclature that we heard this morning, <clears throat> accessory veins run parallel to the course of the great saphenous, and circumflex veins take on an oblique course. And mapping them with ultrasound and reflux patterns allow you to uh, you know, accurately treat the uh, appropriate source, which is the problem with non-ultrasound guided stripping uh, 20, 30 years ago. Something that one can do with mapping is illustrated here to de uh, demonstrate the difference between an accessory, an anterior accessory saphenous, and an anterior thigh circumflex. As we follow down the thigh, you'll notice here that the accessory saphenous vein is always aligned with the deep vessels as one scans down. The great saphenous vein is medial, the accessory is aligned with the femoral vessels. We call it the alignment sign. The circumflex vein, however, since it travels obliquely, you see here it's originally aligned with the femoral vessels, and as one scans down, it drifts off laterally. Here's the deep vessels. Here's the circumflex uh, going oblique. Uh, I'll do this, you know, 1% uh, of the time probably where I feel compelled clinically to treat multiple uh, reflux pathways in the same case, and just to show you that it is available through careful mapping these uh, techniques. So four complex situations I see fairly rarely in how to deal with them. Uh, Mark Meiser mentioned the first one, a superficial accessory saphenous means it travels just superficial to the great saphenous and parallel to. And we often see this, uh, especially in the distal thigh as I'll get to, where they're very close to the skin and as I did in this nurse, a thermal ablation you, uh, will leave a cord or a, uh, you know, a stain that will be present for about a year until the vein gets reabsorbed. Unhappy patient there. Neovascularity after stripping, as we heard, we usually will present with a, a, a nest of uh, tortuous varicosities in the groin. The 